how do I reach these kids? <sighs> so we have Scorpio and or Crosswatcher or apply it to your eighth house um, if you're not a Scorpio. If you're Scorpio, Sun, the Moon, Rising, welcome. Everyone, welcome. Apply it accordingly. I say eighth house because Scorpio rules the eighth house. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Feel free to like, share, follow. Reach out for a one on one reading. All that good stuff. All the links are below. My mother, though, jiggle, jiggle. If folks. Let's see. Wiggle, wiggle. Spirit of gratitude, joy, love, and light. It's possible messages at this time for Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Devil card in the upright. Not as egregious as cutting someone off. Yeah. Cutting someone out or cutting someone off. I mix those two sounds together just then. But maybe still holding on to the fantasy or the ideal of someone or something coming back. Whatever that mechanism is in us, if it's a imagination or dreaming about the future or you know, you can tell someone to like be present or whatever. But you gotta like kind of go through it, uh, as painstaking as it may be. Um, I mean, I see the scales of, of justice balanced here. And to me, this kind of tells me that if, you know, the other does exist and, you know, if it's like an ex or an ex job or whoever did you dirty, if anyone did, and if they still exist outside of our reality or whatever, even though we don't see them or have exposure to them, you could maybe interpret the Justice card in the upright as they got their comeuppings or, you know, whatever. But it really only serves you to make things about you in your life. So that's to say that doesn't do you any good if someone else got theirs because you don't know it. So all that you could do is do all that you could do to balance the scales by yourself. And if, you know, seemingly in the mirage and the illusion of like... <laughs> free choice or like, you know, I'm the one driving the ship or whatever of my life, then it's like, okay, congratulations, you know, you're the one that did it or something. But it can also just be interpreted as like, you know, you caught a wave or something and you got like a wakeboard or something. And, um, you know, you just, you're like a fish in water. So it's, it's you know, how much can you I mean, one thing that I will say is that maybe you could have, like, a lazy river approach where you're just chilling more and you're not, like, chomping at the bit of life more. I think is there some, there's something to be said about this kind of understanding. Um, whatever the forces that are moving things to and fro, it's bigger than you. Regardless of, you know, a door being open still, not locked shut entirely but it's like time has it so that like vines and, and weeds grow over that door and it's just unused and you just kind of walk past it and you just keep going um and you're not waiting for anyone you're not putting anything on hold is what is what i'm getting here scorpio uh, and or cross watcher and or eighth house you're kind of just 
you could be a little bit embittered or jaded or have a shorter fuse with people. But, you're, you know, it's just on to the next one and it's like business as usual as far as whatever new actions present itself. Maybe in the form of a relationship, but I don't get that you're necessarily wanting to take actions uh, and just, you know, just for anyone or anything. Um, if it's not right, if it's not aligned with what you're growing in your personal life, you're not really keen on having the time for anyone but yourself is what I'm getting Scorpio in a way. I mean, and or, you know, you and yours, but I think that, again, with your proclivities and you know, don't be afraid to take a leap, but it's like a prize fighter, like getting off the couch or something, like something really has to like, kind of hit you on all levels for you to be like, oh wow, like I wanna like pursue this, if it's a person or if it's an opportunity, and I don't know that you're there yet, I don't know that you're there with pursuing something outside of yourself. And I think that this was some sort of like bigger lesson, or I don't know if you're there with pursuing something outside of you and yours, or what you're growing, you know? Pursuing something outside of your vision. You know? So, I think you really still want this, like, you might be in this very kind of, like, painstaking situation emotionally to some regard, and yet you're willing to be, like, a sacrificial lamb because I think you're still holding tried and true to the tenets of something bigger than yourself. You know, and, and I feel as though that you're just about the right person to make this sacrifice, just based on your, your sensibilities. Um, I don't think that you're going to expose yourself to moving like you've done before. Even if you tried to put the, the, the cuckoo bird back in the clock. There's just this level of like not giving a fuck that has you prevailing over all of this like, it's both like a painstaking and like a numb, like, it's like your city got bombed and you're still in the fallout of it. It's just numb and painstaking and it doesn't seem real, which is terrible. But you, you're, you're, um, you're doing the impossible is what I'm getting. And so you know, in the annals of history and, and all that, looking back, it just will have been something that you that you don't even know how you overcame or, or how you, you did it because it was so antithetical to not your ideal or not your vision for yourself but to what any human being should ever have to go through but no one else could have done it. No one else. No one else could have done it. But you. And so you will get all that is coming to you. You will be handsomely rewarded and you will make that. Ten of Pentacles. 
And we live in such a benevolent universe that when you look back at it, you'll be like, ah, it wasn't so bad. And in the way that life does, that too will be true. Because your, your memory always skews things so that you don't remember them perfectly. You remember them in this romantic way so that you can bear another day. <laughs> Real talk, Scorp. So. But it, it bees like that. At least you're going to be handsomely rewarded, you know? But it bees like that. So I'm going to leave it there on to Sagittarius College.